Hi everybody! Today we are going to be making super simple 3D models like this one. We're going to be using the program Blender. Okay, so before we start, it's best if you have some reference pictures to help you. So, ideally you would have, say, a 3D toy, like a model of your character already. And if you don't have that though, some pictures of the front and side views will also be okay. So here we have a front view. I found this picture on the internet of the character from a photograph or a picture of a t-shirt. But we also need the side view, so something like this, so we know what the side view looks like too. So this isn't really a perfect side view, but it's okay for a simple character. Ideally, this would be the front view, and this would be the side view very clear and close to our model. These would be perfect. Okay, but you won't have these most of the time, but because it's so simple, it's okay today if we don't have them. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is open up a new Blender document. So open up a new file with Blender. And you're going to have three things. You will have a camera, a cube. This shape is called a cube. It's like a 3D square and you will also have a light. Okay, so right click with your mouse on the cube. Wait, I just start. Make it so you can see what I press. Uh, so when you right click on the cube, so here you can see what I'm pressing in this bottom left hand corner, then click on object mode. This little tab down here, object mode. And it's going to bring up It'll bring up this menu. So we have lots of different things. We want to click on edit mode, edit mode. That is where we change the shape. Now click here in the bottom left hand corner. There's a button called view. Click front. Now you can see we have a little square. So this is the front view of our square. We also need to click view Persp ortho because right now it is in front persp, but we need front ortho. So if we click on this, we have front ortho. So next, CTRL in the bottom left hand corner and middle mouse button, click the middle mouse button. Then move your mouse and you can come closer to your square. Let go of the buttons. So here you can see we have one, two, three, four points. Four points, four vertexes, vertices. We need more points to make our character. So we are going to click Control, CTRL, and R. And this pink line will appear. So the next thing you need to do is you need to click seven because we want lots of points. Then you're going to click the left mouse button twice. So once and then once again. And now we have lots more points. But so now we have the points from left to right. We also want some points going from up to down. So if we hit Control and R again, and then move the mouse until the pink line appears like this, going from left to right, and then click seven. Now we have seven pink lines. So click once and click twice. Okay, so now we have our seven lines up to down and left to right. So now we have lots of little squares on the front view, and we can look at the di we can look at the three D view using middle mouse button. But you can see the top and the right and the left don't have the little squares yet. So let's click view and click right. Again, CTRL, hold it down and press R. Then press seven, click once, and you could move it, but we're gonna keep it in the same place. And if you click again, it confirms where there. Okay, so now we have 
all the little squares we need, we are ready to start coloring and making our creature's face. Okay, so now that we have made squares on the top, bottom, left, right, and front and back, it's time to start coloring our creature. So click A to deselect. So now it's going from yellow to white. And click A again. And now everything is orange. View front. Okay, so now this is how we start to color our creature. So go over to the right. And here we have lots of little buttons. We have a camera, a picture, and some a little earth, a little cube a wrench, three vertices, three points, and then this little circle with some squares in it. That's the one we use to color our creature. So here it says material. We're going to change the name to yellow. So type Y-E-L-L-O-W, yellow. And here it says diffuse. And there is a white little box. Click on that white little box and it brings up a color picker. So we can choose any color we want. We want a yellowy orange. So here we can see the color. So that looks okay for now. So now if I hit A again, I can see my character is yellowy orange. So front view. Now the next part, we are ready to start modeling our creature. So we're going to select some different points. See at the moment I can select little points but this is very slow. So actually I'm going to do something else. I'm going to click down here. We have three little cubes. One with a point, one with a line and one with a face. Click on this one with a face and now we can select these squares, we can select whole faces. And this here is going to form the nose of the dog. We're going to learn to make his nose now, which comes out a little bit. So now we have selected the faces by clicking, holding shift and clicking the squares. So this is the front view. Let's go to the side view, so view right. Now this next button is very important. We're going to press E. So press the button E. And now if I move the mouse, you can see those squares are getting pulled forward. And then let's click with the left mouse button when we are happy how long, with how long the nose is. You can make it as long as you like. So I'm just going to make it the same as the other squares and I've clicked this, the left mouse button. So let's have a look. If I press middle mouse button, I can look at the face. This is the way it looks now. So it looks pretty good. We can see that the nose is beginning to look like his nose. That's what we want. So now that we have made the nose, we're going to start making the eyes. So Click A to deselect all. Click View Front. And one, two, three, four. That's going to be his left eye. One, two, three, four. That's his right eye. And now we are going to go to View. And then go to Right. I'm going to press E again and make the eyes come forward a little bit. You can go forward or you can go backwards, you can choose. Okay, so now his eyes come out a little bit, kind of like button eyes. I don't want these eyes to be yellow, I want them to be black. So I'm gonna click view front, and we're still on this little circle with the squares in it. So if you're not on that, click on that again. And then click beside yellow here, there is a plus button at the top. Click on that plus button. Then everything goes away. 
oh no, all that stuff is gone. I'm going to click new right here, new. So now we have a new material. We're going to change that. Click on material there, the text, type B-L-A-C-K for black because his eyes are going to be black. Go down to diffuse, change this to black. How do we get black? I don't find, I can't see black anywhere on this color picker. What do we do? Well, over here on the right, we can change the colors darkness. So let's click for pure black, very dark black, or at least a light gray. You can choose what you like. And then if we click away, that should be fine. And then this little button here says assign, assign. So if we click that, the areas that we have selected will change to that color. So click assign. Now if I click middle mouse button, I can see what that looks like in 3D. But actually, okay, deselect those points. I think this is a little strange. So I'm going to make all of this black. So if I click on these faces, I'm holding shift and clicking right the right mouse button. If I hit the wrong one, I can click the right mouse button again. And then I'm clicking middle mouse button. And now I can see more of these faces holding shift all the time and clicking right mouse button to select them. And then if I click on black and click assign, now they'll all become black. If I hit A, we can see with middle mouse button, we can move around and see what he's beginning to look like. We can start to see the face. Okay, so what will we do next? Maybe we will make a mouth. So, hmm, where do I want the mouth to be? You can choose, maybe here. Maybe this will be the mouth. So press shift and right click to select the squares that you want to be the mouth. We're going to make the mouth black. So click on black over here and assign. So now, there we have his mouth. Still looking a little strange. So we're going to give him some more details. Maybe I want his nose here. So what can I do to add a nose? If we click black again, we can make it black. A sign. Actually, that's still a little strange to me. So I'm going to click view and write E and pull it forward a little bit. And then I want to make these bits black too. So I'm pressing shift and right key of the mouse to select the faces. Middle mouse button, change the view. I don't need to hold the buttons shift when I'm doing that. Shift again right mouse button and click black assign and now if I click A to D select that I can look at it properly. Now we can really start to see our character coming to life. He has a nose and eyes and a mouth. We're going to give him some ears so let's click view right to see the right, and now we can still see his eyes and his nose. Where do you want his nose to be? You can choose. So probably, if we look at the pictures, we can put the ear in the middle or slightly towards the back. So let's, we'll try the middle first. So now I have clicked shift and right mouse button to select these four faces. I'm going to click view front. Now you can see these little orange dots showing us where those four faces are. If I click E, I can pull it out 
and choose how big I want his ear to be. Then click left mouse button when you're happy. So now he has one ear. We want to give him two ears. So click view and left. We're going to give him another ear. Right mouse button to select, shift, select another one and another one and another one. Holding shift and pressing the right mouse button. So now view and front and then I can press E and move the mouse and choose how big I want it to be and when I'm happy I will click the left mouse button. So now if I press middle mouse button I can really begin to see his head coming to life. Actually that is a very simple head. So by now you have created a simple character head. Okay, so now we have a head. Let's start building a body. So Let's click view and then bottom. If I click, I can start to click. So actually we want, we're still, you can see the ear is still being selected. That could cause some problems. So click select, deselect all or A. Now nothing is selected. So let's click shift and right mouse button to select some faces. There are quicker ways of doing that doing this but just to keep it simple you can select them all like this if you don't want to get confused or if I press C I can do it a little quicker I'm just holding the left mouse button now and painting it now if I click if you did this, if you press C, you can click right, right mouse button now to stop doing that. And now we want to go to front view. So click view, front, and control and middle mouse button to come out a little bit. Okay, so we can start to see the face appearing. Now we're going to click view, front, and E. Now I'm going to make lots of these. Just click, keep clicking E and then left click, E down, left click, E down, left click, E down, left click. Why am I creating lots of little squares and not one big square? The more little squares we have, the more vertexes we have, the easier it is for him to move. So we're going to stop when we feel that the body is big enough. So we can stop there. I think that's okay. You can make it longer if you want, or shorter. So I think what he needs next is some arms. So we're going to give him some arms. So if you want to do a really Minecraft style, of course, you can give him really big arms. And also, actually, you probably give him a smaller stomach, but I think because of the way our character looks, it's better to give him a bigger stomach. So we're going to keep it the way it is. He needs a big body. And also, if we look at the picture, he needs some very small arms. So let's give him some small arms. And where do his arms go? Actually, they're a little bit towards the back in this character. So we're going to try and do that. Before I do that though, I'm just going to add some white to his eyes. So select face select. I'm going to click these two squares here, shift and then right click. And now we need a new color, so click the plus. And then new. And here we have white already selected for us. So I'm just going to call it white and then click assign. Okay, so make sure that you have nothing selected and then click front view. So you can choose it from here or you can click numpad one. 
okay so hmm, let's find the arms actually they're going to be on the right side so view right we'll do the right arm first select face select the button for selecting faces not points probably here that's probably where we want the arm to come out so then after that click view front and click E to pull that out and pull that out a few different times so that we can move it more easily if you only do one big long rectangle you won't be able to move his arms in a very interesting way of course you can do just one rectangle if you're just gonna keep it very very simple but it will look really weird when you try to make it move okay so that arm looks okay let's count the squares one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven squares uh, let's try and do that on the other side now so you and then click left I think this is the square that we selected on the other side so pull that out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten she one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven really it seems very long okay we'll check the length of that later probably made this one too long but okay that's fine for now just try and do your best um, now we can if we look at the picture of our model he's actually quite round at the top and at the bottom um, the version I showed you earlier I have actually added squares up here now we can try a few different things if you want to go for a more blocky effect like this one where it's more square that's okay we'll do something a little different with this one we will make him a little bit rounder so let's go to the top view view top and select make sure nothing's selected first Going to select a square on the top of his head. So I'm just clicking shift and then right click. There are quicker ways of doing this, but we're just going to keep it simple today. And then click view front. So now we are going to lift this up. Instead of pressing E to push out squares, we're going to click G and we're going to lift it up and it's going to be more rounded. So hit G. Now we only want it to go in the blue direction, not all over the place. So I am going to click Z. That will make it so it will only move in the blue direction now why Z you say let me explain that over in this corner we can see the blue line for Z and a red line for X and if I move we can see a green line for Y those are our three directions in Blender so we can press the buttons to do things in those directions okay now let's click view bottom going to do the same to the bottom side Actually, button selected and then we're going more towards the front than towards the back so these are going to be our legs so if I click one or view front 
you can see these orange dots here and here those are going to be your legs control middle mouse button actually before we do the legs sorry about that I made a mistake we want to make it more rounded so let's do the same thing that we did to the top let's make a square I'm going to pull this down the same way we did earlier click view front G and then Z and then when you're happy with the length just click the left mouse button okay so now let's select those squares for feet these are going to be these two legs hit one for front view and E to pull out two squares two cubes actually those legs are a little bit too close together so I hit Control and Z to undo we want them to be further apart because if we look at our picture I think they're quite far apart uh, wrong pictures his legs are actually quite far apart so hit one now we've got these legs they're further apart this time E click E click using left click to confirm when I'm happy okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine you can choose if you want them to be the same length as the arms I think that's actually a little crazy so I'm gonna make them slightly shorter I might change this later but that's okay for now so A to deselect all or select it here deselect all then these two faces these two squares they are going to be his feet so view right then E so now we have made his feet so he's almost done now but we need a tail so now it's time to make the tail let's go to the back because we have an even number of squares here I think it's just as well to select two let's make a tail out of this so if I click side view or right E pull that out pull it out again and now I'm going to make it curl up so I'm going to click on these two squares using middle mouse button to go to 3d view and then right mouse button and shift to select two faces then back again to right view press E and there we go we have a nice tail so there we have our character mostly done now I think he just needs some teeth to really so we can see the difference between his mouth and his nose okay so let's go back and select the mouth so again right clicking and clicking shift to select an extra face 
what I think I'm going to do here is I am going to pull it inwards so we can first of all let's click on wireframe so this circle down here is currently on solid we're going to click wireframe and then we enter this face so we can see inside so with the button E we can pull faces out but we can also pull them in so I'm going to do this twice so here I've pulled in once and then I've clicked with the left mouse button to confirm and now I'm going to pull it in again okay why did I do that because you might actually want to add a lip later to make it talk so I've pulled it in twice so now I'm going to go back into solid mode so again clicking on this circle at the bottom just beside edit mode so I can see what I'm doing I'm going to click on these two rectangles just above the mouth and click front view and then I'm going to pull them down I'm going to hit E to extrude so how big do we want them to be hard to say and I'm clicking shift and right mouse button go over here to the circle with squares in it click white from earlier when we did the eyes and assign okay so now let's have a look at our character We have pretty much done our first simple character at this stage. We can add lots of other details to it, but that's probably good enough. So that was our tutorial on how to make a very super simple 3D model.